Here's your 41 Now update, sponsored by Kansas City Regional Association of Realtors. I'm Dia Wall. Here are your headlines from 41 Action News. KCK police arrested a man suspected in a pair of armed carjackings. Investigators say he first stole a car on Freeman Avenue with a four and seven year old inside. The kids were found safe and reunited with their mother. The man later pointed a rifle at another driver and stole a second vehicle. Police arrested that suspect on North 22nd Street. Clinton County deputies arrested a murder suspect out of Illinois. The Missouri State Highway Patrol told Clinton County deputies about a car chase on 35 involving a murder suspect. Deputies used spikes to slow the car. The suspect wrecked the vehicle and ran off but was soon taken into custody. The man had warrants for first degree murder and attempted first degree murder out of Winnebago County, Illinois. Retired racing dogs from China will soon find homes in Kansas City. The KC Regap Group, or Retired Greyhounds as Pets, flew six Greyhound dogs from Macau, China to Philadelphia, then drove them from Philly to KC. You can find out where you can adopt them. Just go to kcregap.org. Your forecast with Gerard Bailey is after this. Did you know a realtor will help guide you through the home buying process from beginning to end? Visit KCRAR.com for more information or to find a registered realtor in your area. We're going to be looking at some cold temperatures to start the morning. We're looking at teens to begin. We will we'll see quite a bit of cloud cover for your Monday, but by the uh, lunchtime hour, we're in the mid 20s, upper 20s by the afternoon. We're going to be looking at again, mostly cloudy skies as we move into Tuesday, though, all that cold air that's around is going to be a factor when we see our next storm system. We're likely going to see a lot of snow with this next one beginning as early as uh, midday around uh, 2 p.m. on Tuesday. We'll continue to see the uh, snowfall really uh, show up, as far, especially as we move in the overnight hours, becoming moderate to heavy, moving into Tuesday night, even lingering into your Wednesday as well. We're expecting anywhere from around three inches on the low end, could see upward of six inches across the area, and that will be until around Wednesday morning before we're going to see the system finally exit. Remember, get all your latest news and weather updates anytime on KSHB.com. Cutting the cable cord? 41 Action News is now on Roku. Search KSHB, add our channel, and you're set. All of our newscasts stream live. No other station in Kansas City can say that. Get clear, complete coverage on 41 Action News now on Roku.